Hello everyone. I just received the Booth Renting 101, a guide for independent stylist uh, workbook. And I wanted to do a review on this and let you know what's inside of it. I haven't worked it or anything like that. I've had my own business for um, over 20 years and I thought this is a wonderful starting place for booth renters or commission people or anybody that's looking to hone in on the business side of their their beauty industry whether it's it's aesthetics nails or hair and i will probably talk more about nails because that is what my personal service is although my shop uh does all kinds of service and i've i've, I've helped with that throughout the year i'm an instructor for nail technology and i've um always trying to give people tips to help them realize that they are not just a nail tech because this industry is wide open and it has been taking very good care of me for the past 26 years. Um, so let's get started. Booth Reading 101, a guide for independent stylist. I ordered this when I got my new um, teaching guide, instructor's guide from Milady, And I thought this was like, it looked like the perfect um, workbook and, and, you know, all colorful and things to use to help you get your, your small business off the ground. This um, is the brief contents. It has all the chapters. It goes from basic booth rental operation to your money and your future, marketing your business as a booth renter, strategies for retention and, and having your clientele. Um, I'm a appointment salon. I don't take walk-ins and so I have a good client retention um, I have unfortunately lost a few clients this year with COVID going on, which has been very sad. Um, they have gotten sick and they've, if you, if you've been in this industry, any, you know, your clients become your family and it's a very hard to see, um, people get sick and, and move on. So anyway, um, this has got your glossary index, everything you need. This is a more in-depth of each, each specific chapter. And it's got, it's got areas you can fill in. So you really can make it your, for your own business plan. Um, and I'm gonna go through that real quick too. Um, Deshaun Bullard is the author of this. It gives you a great synopsis on who she is and um, all her accomplishments and why she chose to be a part of this and do this. And, and, and it's just a very interesting read. Just tell you all about the beauty industry. And it starts out um, telling you the pros and cons to and case studies for different things. This is a really good template right here. It goes all the way down to um, your credit card terminal fees, your towel service, you know, your insurance for um, liability insurance and disability. And that's something people really forget about because when you're not working and you're not doing services, you're not making money. So um, you have to work on getting your own benefit package so that you run your business professionally and your level of stress is gone because you have taken care of business. We get so busy being artists, sometimes we forget that we need to take care of the business side of things. Now what I would do with this is I would um, go to my copier and I would copy these so that I could have, use it as a template to try different things. Um, it, your wages, salary tips, all the things you do for your own budget and I'm telling you, when you write these things down, you will be amazed at how much you spend, but you can all, you will also be amazed once your business is up and going, how much you can make. Um, tells you all the things on the budget. It, it, it covers everything. And it's even got spots for you to fill in stuff if they don't have a, a place for that. Uh, tells you your responsibility as a booth renter. I know a lot of times people go in and, and, and they're won't, they're so, um, wanting so bad to get into a salon and work right out of school that they don't think about the things they need to ask to see what the salon owner is providing them and all the questions you need to ask and, and to make sure that the lines of communication are open. You hate to get in somewhere and you just hate 
the atmosphere and then you've got to leave and start over and you know move all your stuff in and out and it just it's good to know exactly where you both stand and to keep the lines of communication open a little quizzes after these um i love that they have an expense these expense trackers chapter two telling you how to choose your business structure license licenses um work and leasing agreements, all those kind of things that we are not fun, you know, it's not a new polish or a new type of glitter or gel or it's not the creative side, so it really does fall by the wayside. Some are rock solid and some just, you, they touch the high points in school and it's nothing against instructors, but they just have a certain amount of time they can help you. So you have to do your due diligence and, um, figure out what you need to do. This is all your tax information. You need to make sure you've got all your receipts and stuff you save up for, to keep um, for the IRS. And if you don't have an accountant, make sure you have some kind of Quicken books or something that helps you to keep your stuff in line, you know, that you, you're doing what you need, need to do. Uh, this is a really great chapter that goes through um, all the the different kinds of marketing and how people do different services, how to prioritize the things you need to do, uh, customer relationships. You know, it's not all just about making that, um, getting that client in the door, but it's retaining them. This goes through the goal setting, and it's just a, a really incredible book. Look, there's all kinds of places for you to be able to. It's just an amazing book. So I'm going to work on it myself, even though I've got, I'm sure there are some things that I can learn because I am always willing to learn new things. Great kind of profiles, career profiles on different people. And even if you get a little morsel of something, it's great to, to learn something new. I think this is, a, is going to be a great book for anybody that's wanting to, to learn the business and, and, and get a well-rounded view of what you need to do to make that money and love and grow your business. I uh, hope you like this. And I'll do another review after I've worked on this a little bit more. But I just thought it was a very interesting book because I could not find a whole lot of pictures that showed me what the inside had. But it's a really extensive. It shows you a lot of things. So, anyway, Booth Reading 101, a guide for independent stylists. Milady net.com and it's a Cengage learning book which is most of our industry books hope you enjoy it and um let me know if you get this and if you if you find that it's really been helpful to you or if you've already gotten it and if, and if you really like it thanks for watching